This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. What is up, everybody? And I have some Sega news, or Sega financial news when you think about it. Sonic Record records 1.2 million unit sales and their 2024 first quarter earnings, according to Sega's latest financial updates. The Sonic the Hedgehog video game series kicks off the new physical year with a total of 1.2 million versus 1.4 million from the period period last year all right so you have a 200,000 uh drop right there not a big deal considering the fact that or that uh you know sonic origins plus did release in june 23rd where the end of the first quarter ended on june 30th so you only had one week of sales to go off of and not all the sales are going to be accurate so it's to be understanding so yeah so obviously the blue blur was aided by the sales of sonic frontiers and the other repeat titles in the first quarter of the physical year which a copper, which uh, helped off uh, during that three-month critical period from March all the way to June of 2023. It's interesting. Here's the chart right here, what you're looking at right now. So yeah, again, don't be alarmed saying, okay, they did better last year compared to this year. I mean, but again, nothing to be concerned about. You still got Sonic Superstars coming out this year. You still got Wave 3 DLC of Sonic Frontiers coming out. And Origins Plus, you still got to count the sales after the end of the first quarter, which was past June 30th. So again, people, you have to take that into accountability. The numbers do dwindle a little bit, but again, it's to be expected because the third quarter, obviously, is during October, November, and December during the holiday season when people are buying the hottest products. So it's safe to assume, you know, even for first quarter numbers, these are pretty good for Sonic the Hedgehog standards. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie, even from the previous year. So again, it's safe to assume that the. Uh, that the uh, third quarter for 2024 is going to be way vastly superior, especially with Sonic Superstars coming out at that time. That's fantastic right there. Yeah, despite the company appear to be satisfied with the steady overall performance of the, consum of the consumer area of entertainment contents division, well, that's what it's called, they intend to seek more sales and revenue with the launch of new titles like Sonic Superstars and at the halfway point of physical sale of 2024, which is approximately around autumn in the calendar year of 2023. So we should not be concerned about this whatsoever. I mean, Sega is doing fantastic right now, doing better than ever. Right now, they're winning our trust, which is more important right now because you can always build off that. You know, most companies are, you know, are willing to at least say, all right, we may have not, we may have taken a 200,000 hit when it comes to sales. But at the end of the day, I'd rather have a permanent customer buying our product and think long term. And that way, our sales will look better for the next quarter, which is which is what's going to happen. Obviously, Sonic Superstars, they get, the game is going to sell, sell phenomenal. And same thing with Frontiers. They're going to sell more copies as you get ready for the final wave DLC. And Origins Plus, you still got to count those sales after the end of the first quarter. So again, Sega's in good turn. Sega's in good hands right now, people. So don't be don't be alarmed. You know, as you're seeing, okay, they may have taken a hit here and there. Nah, it's not really a hit when you think about it. It's just like, yeah, the install base may have taken a may, may have taken a small hit, but they'll all they'll make it up. Don't worry about that. Again, it's just because all these games are in rotation. That's why. Let me know what y'all think about this, and I gotta go. Peace out.